Hey, it's Heidi Pratt. Welcome back to my weekly pregnancy podcast where I am exploring everything I'm going through with my pregnancy. This is my first pregnancy and I'm so excited. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of new challenges and discoveries and fun things. So I just thought I would kind of share that all with you in a weekly podcast. So I don't know if this is your first time listening or if you've listened to other weeks, but welcome. And uh, this is week 26 for me. I'm at the beginning of the seven months and very exciting. A lot of things going on in, inside of me. Uh, last week, or actually since I've talked to you guys, I ended up doing a pregnancy photo shoot, which was really fun, and I highly recommend, even if you just do it with your husband or with some friends or something like that, just to get some great memories. I actually ended up doing it for a magazine, the Fullest Magazine. So um, I went down to Newport, and we ended up having like a mini baby moon, which was great, staying down there and everything, and Um, I wasn't sure exactly what to expect and then I got there and there was kind of like some lingerie and some fashion things and some sexy things and just a variety of stuff but I was definitely shocked at first when I saw the the um, lingerie and there was a beautiful dress over and it was really classy and beautiful but I was like oh I wasn't sure this was the route we were going and um it, it ended up being really fun and, and very empowering. I've, I'm very proud of my body, and I think that becoming a mom and being so motherly and womanly is such a sexy, cool, natural thing, and it was really fun to embrace that, and I felt really good during the whole thing. I was way more tired then I realized at the end I wasn't really taking breaks and I like to just power through and work through things, but I was more tired. I should have taken some more breaks, had a little food in between. It was like a six-hour photo shoot or however long, but it was great. It was, it was really fun exploring that side of me and being able to embrace that and feel really great in that, and it's just so fun having this moment in time captured also, so... Uh, just for my husband to know that uh, these are going to be framed around the house, (laughs) which was great. There was a great photographer and we did some in studio and then ended up going to a boat and doing like this beautiful boat. I don't want to blow the surprise, but anyways, it was really gorgeous. And then afterwards we went on my friend Nikki's yacht and she's the one who actually runs and owns the magazine. So that was amazing and so much fun. And it was fun being back down in Laguna and Newport. I haven't been back there in, well, since Laguna Beach, the TV show. Um, I lived there for a summer with Lauren. And I haven't been back there since. So it was fun just going down there and kind of re- just having a, a moment in time like, wow, last time I was here, I had no idea what was going to happen in my life. And I was living with my friend and the world was just so different and going back was such a different perspective and now I'm married and I'm pregnant and it was, it was really fun. It was really cool being there. So anyways, um, I'm planning on doing one more pregnancy photo shoot. Uh, I, I can't decide if I want to do those nude photos or not. I think they're so beautiful and gorgeous and um, they don't really show anything anyways, not much more than a bikini. So I think that I'll probably end up doing those And then um, our baby moon's coming up, which is so exciting. I can't wait. And then we have a trip to New York this week coming up. And, oh, I asked my doctor because we're flying a lot. I'm going back and forth to New York. And then we have our baby moon. And she said to take a baby aspirin before you fly because uh, apparently pregnant women are prone to blood clots. And it's important not to get those. So if you are flying, that is what my doctor recommended, just to have one... um, Actually, I'm not sure. I think it was baby aspirin. I'm going to recall and ask if it was Advil or aspirin, but I think it was <laughs> aspirin. And uh, so anyways, I'll figure out that. And then my other friend recommended compression socks. So I'm going to get some compression socks for the flight and just try to walk around a little bit and not be so confined to my chair because flying was challenging for me. But anyways, lots of exciting stuff coming up. And um, also I have my 
baby shower narrowed down. I was going to do it in August, but that's just coming up too soon. And then we're gone and we're out of town. And I, I really want to enjoy it, be able to get everything planned for it, not be too big for it, but <laughs> just anyways. And, and my mom was here this weekend. I had the most fun with her. I only cried for like 10 minutes after she left, which was pretty good. But we had the best time. We were looking at the nursery and putting some stuff together. And it's just such an incredible bonding experience with your mom or with someone in your life like that. And, you know, I've always really loved and appreciated my mom. We only had a quick turbulent period there, we'll call it. But other than that, I mean, my entire life, my mom has been like my best friend and I've been so close to her. So to go through this with her is just so amazing and seeing her in a different light and to being able to have her support there. And it just meant the world to me. And it was actually after this photo shoot and I was really tired and I just needed that time with her and kind of to re-energize and refocus. So it was really fun. We picked out some beautiful curtains. I'm going to do some blue and white light striped, I mean, like horizontal stripe, pinstripe, <laughs> but not, not thin for the nursery. So we did that and we have some bedding picked out. We ended up going to Restoration Hardware and some other places. And it's hard to find bedding in stores. I might just be going to the wrong places, but I think I'm going to also look in online and see what's out there. And it's fun having everything come together. And then we went to Pottery Barn and got some other stuff for my house. So lots of nesting, lots of bonding time with my mom. And um, it would have been harder for her to leave if she wasn't coming back in September for my baby shower. So thankfully she's coming back, but I definitely miss my, my mom. But thankfully she's not too far away and it really makes me appreciate the time that I do have with her and makes it really special. And it was so fun with her staying with us and being here. And uh, I love going home, but I also love her being able to come here and walk our dogs and <laughs> help me out. So it's uh, it was fun and talking about the birth and if she's going to drive out or fly out and what's fastest. So also today I just went to my doctor and I had a feeling I've gained a little bit too much weight or just more weight than I definitely anticipated. I haven't been able to work out like I wanted to during this pregnancy and I've been indulging a little more than I thought that I would and I've gained 25 pounds. I guess it's seven months, but I still have, I mean, three months to go basically. So I don't know, unless he comes early, but I have all of August, September, and mostly part of October. And if you're supposed to gain four pounds per month, I mean, I'm going to end up gaining like 40, 30, 40 pounds here or there. I gained six pounds from last month and I was only supposed to gain four, but it's so hard because my doctor said I'm fine and that she's not very concerned about it. Definitely like watch desserts and things like that. But I don't feel like I eat crazy. I mean, maybe I am and I just don't realize it, but I'm not sitting here eating like pints of ice cream and stuff. I definitely have bites and things like that, but I guess I am just eating more than I, I realize and I'm not working out as much. It's been challenging moving and uh, getting everything adjusted and I mean I've just been really busy and we don't have air conditioner so I haven't been able to work out on the bike that I have here but I just need to reprioritize that and figure it out so and anyways it's it's been fun and maybe my baby just needs a little more <laughs> food I don't know but also he is in the 85th uh, in the 85 percentile so he's definitely bigger than most babies. And I thought that he was going back to normal, but I guess not. He's still really big. So that's exciting. And his head's down. He's already like down basically. And um, my doctor's not sure if he is going to move or if he's just going to keep descending. He probably won't come back from where he is because she said it's comfortable and a lot of first time babies do that. So at least he's positioned the right way, which is a blessing. And I'm really excited about that if he doesn't end up moving a lot. But it makes sense too because she my doctor asked, 
is there a lot of pressure? Do you feel a lot of pressure? It's like, absolutely. I mean, I have to go to the bathroom all the time and I'm, I'm feel like he's really heavy. And she's like, well, that's why. And so it definitely made sense. It's like, ah, I'm not making things up. And where I've been feeling all the kicks is where his little legs are. But it's so fun seeing him. I love seeing what he's doing in there and kicking and moving and his little body. So my sister had a great point. Maybe I'm going to have my baby early because she said that a lot of women who are shorter have their babies earlier because there's not enough room for the baby. And so he tends to come early. And I have read that somewhere else. But that would be great. I would love him to come a little bit early. And then it makes sense that I'm really at like 29 weeks or something. So maybe he just wanted to gain a little extra weight. And my sister was saying our bodies are so smart. And if he is coming sooner, then my body would know that. And that's why I am gaining more weight or why he's bigger or certain things like that. So I'm just going to pray about it and trust God and try to make healthy decisions, not worry about it, enjoy it. I mean, this might be my only pregnancy. I hope not. I hope we have more kids, but you just never know uh, what happens in life. Or if we have one and done, that definitely happens to people. I'm not sure how this is going to go. So I just want to be open, but I want to fully enjoy this pregnancy because right now this is such a moment in time that I will never get back. I also re-thought about the epidural and my mom was saying that for her first child, she did have an epidural and then for her other two, she had natural and that she would definitely recommend having the epidural first, but then she started thinking about it and was, was said, it sounds like you really want to do it natural. Maybe just try that way. And if it gets too much, and then I re-talked to my doctor about it and my sister and I don't know, maybe I will just get it. I don't know why I wouldn't. It does sound like it's a lot. Why not make it a little bit more enjoyable for myself? My mom's done it natural and I asked her, well, did you get this? Like, was it really different for you? Did you get that um, ecstasy high that they talk about? Did you bond with the baby more? I was asking about the benefits of it. And she said, honestly, it was the exact same. And I said, well, then why did you decide to do it natural twice? And she said, well, the second time I just wanted to experience it. And the third time I just thought it'd be easier and he was coming out so fast and that I did it once. I might as well just do it again like that. So, but she definitely recommended it the first time. And I am pretty little and I do have great doctors and I don't know. So I'm actually going back more towards the epidural than I was leaning before. And I asked my mom if it prolonged her labor and she said no. And I asked my sister and she said no, that she had a pretty quick labor as well. So I don't know, just some food for thought. If you guys have any thoughts about it, let me know. But this is such an exciting week. I was a little bit concerned that I wasn't feeling my son move so much. And this week he started kicking and moving. And when the music comes on, sometimes he starts moving more. And it's just so fun. I literally stop everything I'm doing just to feel him and to be there. It's just, it's amazing. It's so wonderful. I'm so thankful and excited that he's starting to move around a lot. I really was looking forward to that. And he woke me up the other night and I just laid there smiling you know, probably at 3 a.m. or whatever, but I was so happy that he woke me up, like, ah, oh, he's kicking, and it was just amazing time. So anyways, moving into week 27 here, very excited. Thank you all for sharing this journey with me, and I'll let you know how everything's going. I'm not sure if I'll do one next week. Um, we'll be in New York and then have a lot of things coming up. So I will talk to you soon, and thank you guys so much for listening. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Talk to you soon.